We came out to Lake Georgetown. I haven't been out here in probably 10, maybe 15 years. This water is super clear. Looks like there's hydrilla in here now. Um, I've heard rumor that uh, the bass will school down by the dam in the afternoon. So that's what we're gonna try today. But I'm seeing, man, with all this hydrilla, there's some pretty good structure. Uh, I'm gonna just try fishing around some of this hydrilla as well. Some of these coves. I don't know, we'll see how it goes. There's a lot of boats out here today, so I don't wanna get too far out in the middle. <laughs> Probably get run over, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. All right, this is what we're gonna try today. That little spinner fly. We are in 23 feet of water right here. <laughs> well, there's definitely a drop off. Oh, that's not good. Really windy today. I don't have to go. Well, I can see some spots we want to go try. We'll probably have to go down and get in these coves to get out of the wind, and then also pull the boats. It's pretty, uh, pretty choppy. So. Let's see if we can find refuge in one of these coves. I'm gonna give it one more toss here, just kind of right up on the shore there. some of these coves try and find some of that hydrilla oh I think you might have had a bump there it's probably just the waves all right let's try one more <laughs> we're not and that wind's stronger than I was expecting There's another cove over in there, and then they got the whole dam. It looks like we'll have some good shelter from. Got him! Ooh, right there. Sweet. There's first blood. All right. Well, there's a little bluegill. Well, all right. There you go. Thank you. All right. I just saw a couple come up right here. Right here. Let's see if they're still hanging out. Oh, come on. They actually looked like they were schooling. Got him. <laughs> Sweet. Uh oh, oh, a little bass. He came off. Well, that was just a little one. Let's go see if there's some bigger ones over there. That's in 36 feet of water.
Got him. Oh, sweet. We got a little bass. the one that was jumping earlier. Thank you. Or was there another one in there too? Alright, we had a good hit right over here. Let's see. We can turn that into a fish. Like as soon as they hit the water. Got one. Oh, a bass too. Sweet. That was right off of that hydrilla. Ooh, that's actually not a bad bass. Ooh, that's a small mouth. All right, there you go. Thank you, sir. Got him. Oh, this feels like another bass. No, this might be just a big sunfish. Oh, it is a big sunfish. Ah, got me. Alrighty. Pretty guy. Thank you. Alright, I think I'm gonna call it a day. This, uh, this wind is just getting to be unmanageable. So really super slow. Probably not a place I'm going to come back. Um, it's nice. The water's clear. The facilities are great. It's close to the house. Just um, fishing is not great here. Um, there's just not a lot of anything. Um, there's some hydrilla like here and there. Um, there's a couple of rocking outcrops and but um, in terms of like really good structure where you can get bass consistently, uh, it's just not here. And uh, never did see anything schooling either. I, um, you know, I'd heard people say that uh, they'll school down there by the dam. I saw a couple of carp and a couple of gar and you know a couple of little, uh, little tiny bass uh, school in there. But um, but yeah, nothing, uh, no no real consistent schooling action so all right well it was an absolutely beautiful day on the water can't complain about that other than the wind the wind was horrible um, but other than that it was nice can't wait to come back and try it again till next time